All right. So I don't know how long I'm going to be here um, on this video, but it's like three something in the morning, closer to four o'clock. <clears throat> and I can't sleep because this has been on my mind for a long time. I'm not coming on here to uh, just talk about things and just be, you know, blabbing and just saying whatever just to say it. Many of y'all are going to take this video and go gossip about it, but I really don't care. That's not the purpose of this video. This video, the purpose of this video is to uh, try to help at least one man. One man right now who's in his home, knows his house could be better. The way he's running his home. The way his wife is, the way his children is, the way he is. This is for that one man. And women, not, not, you're not going to like this. And I really don't care. I really don't care. Uh, I used to care a lot about what people think, about what people feel. But I really don't care. Because when you find out that people don't give a damn about how you feel, it'll get you to that place where you realize, like, I don't care what anybody thinks or what anybody feels. So that's where I'm at today. I did a video uh, a while back. Uh, if you, I don't remember what month, but it was a video where uh, I was talking about, you know, being OK. You know, I'm still still out here. People hadn't seen me for a long time. Uh, and at that point in time, I had not seen my children uh, for like three months. The last time I saw my kids, or not kids, kids are goats, my children, was January 20th. It was a day after my son's birthday is his third birthday um that was the last time i held my children and from that time until now i had three more children i had triplets two boys and a girl and i have not seen them yet in january february march april may june so it's been six months it has been six months since I have uh, uh, seen my children and three months or so since the last three were born, I was not there. I was not there, not because I didn't want to be there. I was forced to not be there. Hear what I'm saying. I was forced to not be there. The opportunity was stripped, stolen, taken away from me by the woman I was married to, or am married to. Many of you know her, so I don't have to say her name. So that opportunity was stripped from me. I'm not 30 years old yet, but prior to being 30 years old, I've owned two homes. Many of you who will see this in the state of Minnesota, who are who so-called brothers, family, all that crap that y'all always say. Many of you were in that home and I fed you. I let you sleep there. I let you guys come and hang out. Never required anything from anybody. Just wanted to have people over. And many of you wanted to come over. Then I got a farm, 25 acres. Many of you have come over there as well to hang out, to use it. Always kept my place open. I wasn't always like that, but I started to get like that and, and change as time went on. Opening up my home uh, just for fellowship. So I've had two homes uh, before I'm 30 years old. And the last place that I'm at the farm, it's a 25 acre farm. And I got that place for many different reasons because I see and saw and was told about what's going on, what's really going on in the world, what's getting ready to happen. And the writing was just on the wall. And I wanted to put, put my family in a position to succeed no matter what was going on in the world, in the economy, whatever. Haven't seen my kids now, or children, excuse me, for six months. Somehow between uh, January 20th, when I left, my home to go seek answers 
for where to take my family and the direction that I was believing and feeling that I needed to take my family. From that time until now, the locks on my home were changed, not by me. My clothes, you're not even gonna believe me. I'm gonna show y'all. see that that is my clothes on my farm porch I didn't put in there I didn't put them there there's only one other person's name on the house which is a mistake by the way that had access to do that Three. second home that I provided before the age of 30 <clears throat> Um, so haven't seen the children, just saw my clothes that were put out months ago, still snow on the ground. Uh, my sister, Melissa, many of you know her, uh, was living with me and my family, uh, for a couple years at this point in time. <clears throat> and uh, Melissa being with me now, I'm going to take care of my sister. I'm going to make sure she's good. She's been good to me in the hardest time of my life. Uh, Melissa being with me has messed up a lot of things. Because now the narrative of, man, TJ has gone crazy. He's lost his mind. He's joined a cult. It is crazy. The moment you start actually trying to, you know what, let me do. Let me try. Let me just try with the smallest thing. Let me try actually start doing what this Bible says to do. Now you're in a cult. But you're not in a cult. And everything's good if you want to celebrate all these wicked holidays. Uh, do the very opposite of what the word tells you to do. Once you start keeping the commandments. Oh, man, the law's done away with. No, it's not. Shut up, stupid. Um, but when you start doing all that, uh, you've joined a cult, you've lost your mind, and all those things. And I knew the Most High was dealing with me. I knew he was answering a question that I had for a long time. Why don't we keep the Sabbath? How can I read about this in Exodus? She's talking about, you know, keep the Sabbath, do this for forever, for generations. And I keep seeing that with Yah's feast, where you guys call him God, with his feast. All these things that we know nothing about. And he says, do this for generations to generations, do this forever. And when I realize, like, this is what I need to be doing. This is what my family needs to be doing. You're not going to go into a Christian church and find that being done. And they always say, oh, we believe in the Bible. We believe what we believe the word of God. Shut up. No, you don't. Because the moment you start asking them questions about what this is, what does this mean? That there's no answers. Everything goes to, oh, that was just the old days. Shut up. Because God said he's I'm the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He does not change. So all of a sudden he doesn't change. But what he said for his people to do has changed. So this all ties into why I have not seen my family. Uh, my wife uh, took my children and and the dog. Dog was dog was gone for a while, and when I came back home from Green Bay, Wisconsin, after going to just make sure and confirm and get this burden that the Lord had put on me for months. To get it off. By the time I come home, um, my children was gone. Uh, dog was gone. House was completely empty. Um, and I'm gonna be transparent. Fifty thousand dollars was gone out of the family account. Um, 
But when I left my home, I, I left. Everybody's going to say, oh, TJ, you abandoned your family. I go to training camp, go to training camp for a month. Is, is, that a, is that being abandoning my family? I go away for games on the weekends, sometimes a couple days. Is that an abandonment if you're gone for a few days? All of a sudden, this situation is abandonment. I have Melissa will attest. She's not here right now, but she will attest. No, he didn't abandon. He actually left plenty of money, plenty of food, and left everything as is until he came back. That's what she'll tell you. And I come back home from Green Bay, and because my wife thinks that I'm trying to join a cult, she gets up, takes my children, and goes to her parents' house. And her parents have now housed her in the very same house that I took her from when I married this woman. I brought her from, and she's gone over there, and she has taken over her parents who were in their late 60s home. And now her parents, who built that house, worked their tail off, are now, I believe, I could be wrong, sleeping in her room that I took her out of while she gets to have their king size master bedroom. But that was her parents' choice. There's no way that my children would ever uproot me and come disrupt the functionality and the functioning of my home. But that's what's going on. <clears throat> so now if you ask my wife, to, what, what did he do? My wife is going to go and say, well, in 2015, he cheated. A man can't cheat. Was I going through some things? Absolutely. What man doesn't? I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid because I did everything that Christianity told me to do. Got the counselors, prayer, all that stuff. Just want to be a, just want to be a, a better guy, a better man. Shut up. None of that stuff worked. Because if it did, if this wouldn't happen. And I don't really care. I'm, I'm trying to save one guy, help one man. <clears throat> So all my wife is going to do is go back into the past and dig up and find every little thing that she that she can find. She already called my parents, aired all my dirty laundry. Men, first of all, stop, stop, stop confiding in your wives, because the moment they get upset, the moment they get in their emotions, they will turn on you. It's that simple. It's that simple. Somebody's cheating like, oh, you're only saying that because, because what happened to you? No. Anybody's wife, anybody's woman can and has the ability to do that. Just like mine. Calls my mom and my dad. Say, hey, your son, you don't know what he did this, this, and this. This is years ago. This is not anything that has happened recently. Within the last year, year and a half, two years. She goes to the past. This is what your son did. <clears throat> Meanwhile, for the whole five years, many of you guys have seen my wife uh, show off, have nice things, nice jewelry. My wife, and I don't care if anybody says, "Teacher, you're dumb." This, this is me listening, listening to, 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 to so-called people that, that are older than me, and say, "This is how you take care of you. This is how you treat a woman." Okay, gave my wife the fine things, took her on trips she couldn't have took herself on. My wife probably made, I want to say, I'll be gracious and say maybe $700 since we got married in 2016, July 1st. She might have made $700 in the whole time we've been married. She has plenty of food. She had plenty of clothes, plenty of vacations, plenty of trips, plenty of shopping. She's lived a life that some of our family members 
have not lived and may never live. I don't know. And now she is back at the place that I took her from when her father gave her to me at a wedding. Some of you were there. Some of you were at this wedding. And we stood before God. And we said the little vows. And we did all these things. And still to this day, I'm trying to find out where in the word where it gives the, a, a wife leeway to say, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm out here. I'm going to take the man's seed. I'm going to lock him out of his house. I'm going to throw his clothes on the porch, call him and say, hey, where do you want your stuff? I don't care if I'm burning bridges right now. None of you guys scare me. I, I really don't care. And somebody gonna say, TJ, oh, this is low. No, this is for the man who's on the brink right now, losing his mind with the wicked woman that's in his house right now. And he doesn't know what to do. This is what they can do. I don't care. And then there's the next play that these women have. When I can no longer control my husband through my tears, crying, manipulation, being silent treatment, withholding sex, all that crap that, that a lot of y'all women are doing currently. When that no longer works, you go to your real master, the wicked ass court system. It's an age old play. It is an age old play. And it's starting to get played. And men are starting to realize like, yo, I'm not marrying these bras. I'll sleep with you. But we're not about to have no 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 marriage license. Mm -mm, we're not doing none of that. The guys are starting to figure it figure this thing out. And once they start figuring it out, y'all ladies are in trouble. Done. I don't care. You guys are done. So now they use that play, try to use a court system to control the men. And what tool do they use? The children. They try to use that as a tool. And most of the time, if not almost all the time, it works. It works. <clears throat> now, my situation, I don't really know. I, I, I cannot 100% sure, you know, and be sure of what's going on. All I know is I have not seen my children. I have begged my wife to come home. I was home. I was at my house, the house that I bought. I was sitting there. My wife and kids were not home. I was, I told her, come home. Bring my children home. They have their own rooms, they have beds, they have everything that they need here. Come home. And my wife told me, she said, unless you denounce, denounce, strong word, uh, straightway truth ministries, I can't come home. I said, wow. She didn't know what she was really saying to me to be able to use the word denounce. I, I, at that point, I had made no commitments. I was still doing my homework and my research as to where to my family needed to be. And so she used that word, she said denounce. And, that's, and immediately I knew what she's asking me to do is denounce Christ, is denounce Jesus. Because I've come into the knowledge of the truth. The Lord has truly opened my eyes to be able to understand and read the word and be like, oh my gosh, this stuff has been here the whole time. Nothing new. Nothing new at all. But after be, having your mind filled with lies for a long time, the truth will then start to look like a lie to some. And then start to look false. And then now you start to look crazy. But you can say, Keep, keep the Sabbath. What, what's, so, what's wrong with that? That's just for the seventh day of Venice. Shut up. And so this is the truth. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed at all. Because my woman uh, took, my, took my children 
uh, robbed me of um, a, an opportunity, a moment to see triplets being born. I may never get that again. But the most high might, he might bless me with that again, to be able to see me have triplets born again. A moment, I'll never get that back. Those three, I'll never, I'll never get that back. And so now people are out there believing that I've abandoned my children. I'm not taking care of my kids. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I have not abandoned my children. Many of you have aided in the wickedness of my wife. And I'm not bending. Men, stop bending to these women. Their little tears, their little emotions, they don't even know how to control that. Don't let them move you. I'm not moving. I'm standing on this word. And that's what I'm saying. I believe people who, I don't even know what TJ believes. No, none of you guys have even called and asked. Does he even believe in Jesus? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the Father? I believe every word of that book. That's what I believe from front to back. And I'm not saying that just because it sounds good when you say it and get up and say, I believe the word. Shut up. No. You don't believe it because if you believed it, you would at least attempt and start and try to actually do what it says. So now I found a ministry that actually does what the word says. And there's something wrong with me. Haven't abandoned my children. I'm here. They'll grow up. They'll come find me. And I'm going to sit there. I'm going to tell them the flat out truth. And again, if they don't believe me, I'll say, hey, go ask your aunt. Melissa, who lived with us, changed your butts, took care of you guys twice a week. So me and your mom can have date nights and alone time, all that crap. I don't care. People can't, nobody can tell me that I didn't take care of my family. Nobody can tell, can't say that. Not one. Not one person can tell me that. After expensive vacations, and I, and I, I like to go on vacations myself personally. So I didn't take go and take these vacations just because somebody had. I like I enjoyed finding things. I enjoyed nice trips. I enjoyed after a hard season, injuries, all that stuff. I'm gonna go take a little trip and go put my feet in some salt water somewhere. I enjoy, I enjoy that. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with trips, but to be able to be on those trips. Again, wife made 700 bucks last five years. I said, told her, hey, you don't got you don't got to worry about nothing. Just raise these kids, take care of the house, massage me. That's all. That's all I asked. I mean, I, that was that was simple. That was very simple to know you don't have to go out there and work and help me keep the lights on or keep the mortgage paid. If I was a woman, I'd be like, absolutely. Absolutely. And do everything in my power, if I were a woman, to make sure my husband can continue to function. And so then I retired. I retired. You go through the depression, the anxiety. You don't know what to do. You don't know which way to turn. You kind of, man, can I go back? You, you deal with all these things. This is what happened. Do all these things. So you're in a very vulnerable space. I was. Very weak space. And me sitting here thinking I have a support system. Uh, I believed wrong. I believed wrong. And so... That's part of it. That's not every little, I'm not going to give y'all every little detail. There's no, there's no need, but that's the basis of what's going on. My wife took the children, threw my clothes out of the house, 
hadn't slept in the house since she threw my clothes out. Like, who does that? Baby, I, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. And the more I'm going through this, is the more I'm, I got family members, more brothers, friends. That, this, this is this is going on all over the place. So if any of you brothers who are still playing in the league, bro, don't marry these women, bro. I don't care how much you feel a little tingly feeling on the inside. That should go away. Don't marry these women. You can marry them, but not by the state's status of being married. Because the moment you sign that marriage license or a marriage certificate, done. And if you do sign that, get prenups. Do not give these women access to your hard work. Because there was not one sprint that I looked over and saw my wife or any of her family or any of my family. When I got injured, they wasn't there. Nobody was feeling the pain. It was just me. The sore backs, the necks, the ankles, the fingers. Everybody else's body is still intact. So when you work hard and you do all that stuff to try to build a life for your family and to bring people along, don't give nobody no access to that stuff, man. Because that's what I did. And I said, you know, hey, I'm going to put your name on everything just, just in case I die. If something happened to me, you can take care of the kids and you make sure you're good. Bullshit. And I don't care who gets offended from me using ass and shit, whatever. Kick rocks. <laughs> But that's what it is. That's what it is. So I can't sleep. Go with my wife's little... Uh, I ain't even gonna give that woman time of day. Has the audacity to text to, to send me a message. You should take your son, that, that uh, background picture of your son off because you abandoned him. Caitlin, kick rocks. You don't talk to me. I don't talk to you. We are not friends. You are the friend of my wife. And all you know is only what she's told you. So you can kick rocks with no socks on. Anyway. That's all I got, man. There will be more. There will be more videos. But all you, take this as entertainment. Who's going to use this and say, hey, look, did you see what happened to TJ? TJ Clemens? I don't care. Shut up. Stupid. This video is not for you. This is for the guy right now who is struggling, who is miserable in his home, who is tr who knows that there's more. This can't this can't be it. I go to church. I pay tithes. And this is and my wife is is still uh, being wicked. My house is not in peace. I can't get these kids in order. I can't do this. This video is for you, bro. I promise you, I'm not I'm not out this thing yet. I got a little ways to go, but I know brothers who's on the other side in Israel. You can see the fruits like the Lord blessed them, gave them better women, more children and expanded their homes. And I, don't, I really don't care for all you who think uh, Kabir or KGB, Rob Mathis, all these guys are crazy in the cult. Somebody explain to me, Brother Daniel Muir, also played in the league, and his wife. Somebody, I mean, if we all crazy, how, that, that, she must have CTE as well. She must be. She must have lost her mind as well. She stayed with her husband. She's raising, helping that man raise his children and raise his home. So somebody explain that. The bear could be crazy. Rob could be crazy. I don't care. Y'all call me crazy. But somebody explained Brother Daniel. His wife. She, she was an NFL wife. There is a status to being an NFL wife. There's little clicks. Every you go whatever team you want. And it's just, oh, who's your husband? Blah. Shut up. You're stupid. And they just sit there, look good, and, and gossip. So somebody explained, Sister Chris. How she's still with her with her husband, serving that man, loving that man. Somebody explain that. But you won't be able to explain it because it's just always easier to say, oh, 
they lost their mind. They a lot of head injuries and all that stuff. It's easier to say that. So you stick to for those who want to say that, you stick to that story. But for us that know the truth, we'll stick to the truth. But that's what it is. I had to get this off my chest. Sorry for taking 30 minutes of your time, but I ain't gonna sit here no longer. That's what it is. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. My family members, they might feel embarrassed because some of y'all going to pick up the phone and call. Don't call my parents. Don't call my sisters. They've had enough. They've been through enough of this. This has been as much of a roller coaster for me. It's been that much of a roller coaster for them. Leave them alone. Don't nobody message me talking about, hey, I... No. I don't need that. That's not what this video is for. Again, this is for the brother who is trying to get his house right and who's trying to serve the Lord. And you know that there's more out there. And your wife will not listen, will not submit, will not obey you. Just like the word says, but y'all believe that. Oh, you can't use the word submit. You can't use the word obey. Shut up. That's why I'm in this position. Because my wife listened to another man. When I told her to come with me, to come check out straightway, again, no commitment was made at that time. Just doing my homework. Just like everybody else. Because it seems so different. It seems so foreign. But there's something that Pastor Dow says that is it's just, man, it's, it's something true. It's just truth. And it catches you. And you hear it. And you're like, man, I, I haven't heard this before. But all he's speaking is the truth. And my wife listened to another man. And that man told her, he said, man, hey, listen, if you if you if you go with him, that will show him that you are in agreement. Last time I, I checked, my wife is supposed to go with me because I'm pretty sure if I booked the trip and said, hey, we going to we going to Hawaii. That would have been no issue at all. But I said, hey, let's go take a four-hour road trip, me and you, just go check this place out. I need an extra set of eyes. She opted to listen to another man who does not pay her bills, who has not afforded her the lifestyle that she's had. So there's a lot of y'all women out there doing that very same thing, listening to everybody else but your husband. I ain't going to hit y'all with all the verses on the Bible because half y'all still not going to believe it. Y'all going to be like, that's not true. That's not true. Hey, shut up. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Shut up. Y'all not going to read it for yourselves because it's easier to just sit down and just listen to what your pastor is saying without going back and studying for yourself. And I'm going to just tell you this right now. The moment you start reading the Bible for yourself, you're, you're not going to be able to Go back and, and, and just take anything that's been said to you ever again. Just saying. But I encourage you to do it. A lot of you won't because it's just easier to just be fed whatever. Um, but hey, to each his own. Again, I'm out. It is almost probably 4 a.m. in the morning and I am wide awake. I'm wide awake. I got to get this out. I got to save these other men, dudes in the league. If you in the league, <laughs> you can, you hit me up. And even if you're not in the league and you're going to hit me up, I, I, I'm, I can lead you and show you another way, the right way. I can. You do not have to sit here and suffer as men trying to sit here and bow down and worship and please and do all this stuff for these women. You do not. Because I don't see that in the book at all. Anyway, y'all have a blessed morning <clears throat> for all those who are up early. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I'm going to get this out. Don't hit my parents up. Don't hit my sisters up. Do not waste my time trying to get answers because I'm, I'm just some of y'all I'm just not responding to. So I don't want to hear it. So y'all can go take this, go gossip, do what y'all like to do. Uh, other than that, for the people, the men who are in need, who are struggling with their homes, 
y'all hit me up. If you in the league and you come across this, hit me up. Because I'm telling you, there is another way. I'm living it. And that means more than some of y'all can read between the lines, but I'm telling you, there's another way. So I'm at 35 minutes, five minutes over. That's it. Bless y'all. Shalom, shalom. And I will see y'all again soon.